Hey guys, it's Michael, and today what I have for you is a tutorial on how to create these really nice interface orbs. I know a lot of people have done tutorials on this, but my style is a little bit different, and I think if you really master these, they really can help out backgrounds, interface designs, and future projects. So we're going to get right into it. I have a canvas of 1280 by 720, and I already have my guides snapped to the middle. If you don't know how to do that, you can find that on my previous tutorials. And then we're going to make a new layer on top of our background and we're going to go to our ellipse tool. Now holding shift, drag out a circle, whatever size you want it, doesn't matter. You can always resize it later. And then take your circle and snap it to the middle of the guides and it'll snap and you'll have it aligned in the center so we can work with everything better. Then we're going to control J, duplicate that layer, and then go into the layer styles, go to color overlay, and then I'm going to choose a blue looks good then right click on the layer convert to smart object convert and then rasterize it then hold shift and make that circle smaller than the other one and you can just adjust it to the way that you want it I'm gonna make mine just a little bit smaller alright that looks good then go to your gray circle layer go into the layer styles first off add an outer glow color all the way to black Blend mode normal, size to 20, and then go to bevel and emboss. Now this is the really important part that really makes the orb look better. So bring the depth to a thousand, and then the size. It depends on the size of your inner circle. So it looks like mine's gonna be probably around either 10 or 9. I'm gonna do mine at 9, and that looks good that way. Then you can either do the highlight, highlight mode at overlay or normal. I'm going to keep mine at normal. It, it's really up to you what you want it to look like. And then opacity to 60% and then the opacity on the bottom. Have the blend mode on normal and the opacity do that 60% as well. And then add an inner glow. Make the color black. Blend mode normal. And then opacity do 50 and then I like to have my size at 7. It's all up to you, your preference. So I like to have that so it covers up part of the circle and makes it more in depth. After that we're going to need a scratched metal texture. So just go to Google, type in scratched metal texture. Now the one that I used previously is just down on the page a little bit which is right here and I like this texture you can pick whatever one you want and you're just gonna copy the image create a new layer above your gray circle right click create clipping mask control V paste in the scratch metal resize it a little bit make it a little bit smaller and then blend mode to overlay and I like to bring the opacity down to 50 then you can just adjust anything that you want to look better. Alright, that looks good. Now we're going to go to our blue circle and put an inner glow on it. Color black, normal, and then the size, I wouldn't go for a certain number, just kind of go what you think looks good looks like around 65 for me that looks good and then bring the opacity I like it at 80 just a little bit darker than 75 and then put a gradient overlay set it to overlay opacity at 50 and then go into your gradient and just bring it down to 60 percent alright that looks awesome after you have that done put an outer glow on it make sure it's on pure white set it to overlay and then the size bring the size up to 7 and then the opacity down to 50 that looks good and then after you have that done we're gonna create a new layer on top of that make it a clipping mask right click create clipping mask then put your color onto white and go to your brush then we're gonna pick a brush size of 200 and we're gonna put a white dot in the center this just makes it look really cool set that to overlay then just duplicate that dot 
Control J, and then make sure it's a clipping mask. And we're just gonna drag it over up to the top right here a little bit. Duplicate it again, create clipping mask. Drag it over to the bottom so it shows a little bit. And you can adjust the opacities of these. I'm gonna bring this top left one down a little bit. Bring it down to 60. Then the bottom, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. And then the next part, go to your blue circle again. And then go to your burn tool. I have the brush at 200, it's up to you. And then we're just gonna click a little bit around it and just darken up some areas. This really helps to just bring more depth into it. It looks subtle, but from afar, it really helps to look good. And you can just adjust that to your liking. All right, that looks good. After you have that done, I like to add clouds to it. So create a new layer, go up to the filter tab, render, and clouds. And you're gonna see this white pop up here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is just set that to overlay. And you can just see your clouds in here. And you can either have it overlay or multiply. I'm gonna do it on multiply. And then just drag them to where you think they look good. That looks just about right. All right. After you have that done, that's pretty much it. You can add um, this detailed effect, what I like to do. Create a new layer on top of all of those. Create clipping mask. Then go to your brush. Have a size of 100. Then just put a white dot right there. And then we're going to drag this down and make it kind of skinny like that just like that and then just rotate it till you have it on the right angle and you're gonna put it right over here on the side then you're gonna go to your eraser tool have it at 50 um, 0% hardness and then just kind of delete around the sides to kind of form it more to the orb kind of like that all right that looks really nice and then just place it where you want it bring the opacity down a little bit and that just creates a, like a subtle subtle gloss on there and you can duplicate it depending on how bright you want it. I'm just going to keep one of them there. I'm going to have the opacity at 90 on that. And that's pretty much the orb and as you see it looks just the same way as this. And now one thing I just want to show you if you want to change the color of the orb all you do is you go to your orb go into um, the gradient overlay and then you can just change the color whatever you want. I know I have a green preset down here and if you just put this into a group, highlight all the layers, drag it down to a little folder here into a group, you can just keep that gradient map right in there. And then you can either set it to overlay, just make it darker blue, or just keep it on normal. And you have a green orb. And that's what that one looks like. So you can do that with any colors. It's all up to you. So I hope you like this tutorial. And um, please stay tuned for more. I'm going to have some cool new speed arts and everything. So. Please like this video, that really helps out, and you can download some free files, I have those in the description. So, again, please like the video, that really, really helps out, and subscribe if you like these. So, see you later, thanks for watching, bye.